What's going on, you guys? So it's been a couple of days or weeks, actually, probably since I caught up on Grand Tactician's plans. And I've been meaning to kind of cover it, but just a lot of things have been up in the air. So first thing I wanted to cover, they came out with a, a new patch, right? I believe the previous one was a 1.01. .01. This one is 1.02. So let's take a look and see what's in it. All right, latest patch, 1.02.2. Uh, that was quite a bit. Okay, so fixed reloading saves clear stock of newly constructed supply depots. You have a uh, sea raiders perk does not blockade neutral IPs and may lead to inability to save the game. Supply depots now reduce their stock if they have not supplied troops for a long while. That's cool. Rating rebalanced to slightly higher levels. Overall supply cost slightly lowered. Fixed sometimes units are not firing on nearby enemies. And another fix deactivated buttons in siege combats. All right. So, and then campaign AI now defends more carefully and watches out better for nearby enemies. Nice. Uh, another thing fixed units joining an unresolved battle are not stopping but continue movement. Okay. Uh, fix potentially wrong faction in wrong ba in naval battles when reloading while combat rages. Added enhanced info panel for auto resolve battles, land battles, siege combat for bombardment, naval engagements. Fixed diplomacy one selected in the summer 61 scenario leading to wrongly assigned weapon types. Fixed loading of save tutorial fails in fog of war options were changed. Playing manual battles in campaign tutorial is now not possible anymore. Fixed lieutenant general act does not promote commander in chief to lieutenant general. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Assumed fix, playing background music twice while inspecting campaign after uh, one campaign. Fix, multiple garrisons may take part in siege combat. Oh, that's kind of cool. Add a drop down list below the alarm icon on top to directly access the auto resolve panel. Fix, wrong correlation between availability of weapons on the market and equipable units. Removed high combat intensity in sieges if besieging unit has offensive stance activated. Hmm. Fixed. Regulars Act may add a Minnesota Brigade to CSA armies. Interesting. Ooh. Newspaper messages can now be deactivated in options menu. That's cool. Uh, I like it, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> add it to options menu. Keep game paused after closing panels. Fixed. Sea uh, Raiders perk now blockading tr uh, trade nodes. Added damages of force through siege combat. That's cool. I like that. That's cool. Logics changed. Increase of uh, stock of supply depot now leads to immediate expenses shown as a separate position in finances tab. Supply depots are now fully filled at scenarios. Start to prevent huge spikes in expenses at start. That's cool. Fixed uh, provision and coal stock for fleets too high. Armed agent security measures, number of weapons in stock is increased, uh, reduced before only markets were affected. Fixed ship names for newly constructed ships are resettled when reloading. Fixed capturing ships not working. Fixed naval battles may triggered several, several times as AI cannot retreat out of the enemy f fleet range. Fixed when removing a ship name completely, a new one cannot be entered. Cool. Commander experience now increased in naval combats and fort bombardments. That's good. I like that. All right. And then more stuff for battles here. AI bonus now applies to loss uh, resilience. AI now acts slightly faster and tries to avoid direct assault on entrenchments. Ooh. Added quick info when locked map functions when HQ papers are open. Fixed disappearing morale icon tooltips. Fixed uh, retreat time too short for AI, although units fully engaged. Player can now use the arrow keys to browse through the army hierarchies. Uh, AI is now forming up in double lines to deploy quicker. Okay, nice. AI acts more aggressive in battles. Ooh, <laughs> I already felt they were aggressive, but the, hey, man, that's awesome. I love that. AI reduces maneuvers in front of enemy. Ooh, okay. Improved behavior for group commanders whose subordinates are all routed. Hmm. Fixed, moved at signal on time, sometimes carried out immediately. And an updated manual is now searchable. Oh, okay, cool, nice. All right, so nice uh, fixes, you know, for a 1.02 update. 
very interested to see what's coming in, you know, like the official like 1.1. 1. 1. Um, but I think we're, I think they're going to probably go to 1.03, 1.04 before we get to the, uh, the big one. Because usually a 1.1, 1. 1, you know, introduces a couple of new uh, big features. So I like that they're doing all these fixes and really putting out patches and just making this game just even better than it was. So that's awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you then.